in different videos, I've shown you how to improve your ball control. We've done footwork drills, dribbling, passing drills. Best thing to do if you don't have a teammate is pass against a wall. But what I like to do when I'm practicing by myself is incorporate all of those skills into shooting drills. I would just get a ball, maybe I'll go for a little dribble, then I'll come out and I'll strike that ball. I'll just come back again. Let's say I wanted to practice some ball control. Okay, you can start like that. Pull out of the air. Don't like that shot, I'll fix it. Better. I need to be practicing shooting every day. And when I do, it makes me way sharper in the game. So if you don't have something like this, don't make excuses because what is that? It's a piece of wood. Find something to play with, to be your partner. Okay, but playing your passes and in different different patterns of movement. I can work on my footwork. I can work on my ball control. And anytime I have a bad shot like that, so let's say I did that shot, I tried to curl it, and it went right in the middle, come back, do the same shot again, and try to fix it. Think about what you did wrong, do something better next time. Okay, but after I take all these shots, then I would run, get my ball, and now look, here I can play, it's just like a little thing, but I can play weighted passes Let's see, and you can do this quickly if you want fitness, or you can do it slow if you need to recover. If you need to recover, take this time, focus on breathing, come back, and go again. So take these ideas and use these soccer drills to practice by yourself.